All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Trevor Lucas from The Vadio Show. And I know y'all probably wondering, what am I doing sitting in the middle of the ring like Michael Buffer? But I got something special for you guys. And of course, this is all about progress. It's all about uplifting the community. And we got a new creative way to make sure that our community comes together. And I got my man William here to kind of let me know what he has going on. Yeah, well, thank you for having me up here, Trevor. Glad uh, to have you, brother. Like he said, he used the word creative. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's mm -hmm. a good term to use because that's what we're all about around here is creativity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like an outlet event to bring the kids off the streets. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I don't know if you heard about some of the things going on in the community. Oh, Bramerton I know Center, plenty. Bramerton Center, which is right up the street from mm -hmm. us. You know, they're now closing at like 5 o'clock in the evenings. Yeah. So we have several kids just roaming the neighborhood, you know, mm -hmm. looking for something to do. Mm -hmm. and what better platform than something like this? What exactly is, because, um, <clears throat> I'm just hearing about it, and I feel bad because this is like a jewel in the city, for real. Uh, and a lot of people in our community don't know that it's here, but it's already got a lot of hype, got a lot of people coming through. And I know they wonder, what am I talking about? What exactly do you do here? And give me a little background on it, and why you do it. Exactly, well, we, we right now we're four years in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been doing this four years, and uh, I'm sorry you just found out yeah, about it. Yeah, I am you too. Could've got you involved. Yeah, right man. But, uh, Basically, we do boxing and wrestling here in this gym. Okay. You know, we do uh, strength and conditioning. We mm -hmm. do fitness for adults as well. Mm -hmm. You know, where I train, we also have 12 rounds of boxing that's partner here with us nice. in this building. So we offer more than just wrestling. Mm -hmm. You know, boxing kind of brings the mental side. You know, yeah. it, it teaches you the game of life. Discipline. You know, because you have to be very disciplined. Mm -hmm. You know, wrestling is more stage. It's more you know, showmanship yeah. and teaching good character, you mm -hmm. know, so I think when we bounce the two together, mm -hmm. it's like a complete product. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this program started again, like I said, four years ago in my backyard. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I purchased the ring, I set it up, you know, and we had kids coming all from different parts of the neighborhood mm -hmm. and wanted to come over and take part in what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Some of the neighbors, they didn't agree with it because to them it just looked like a bunch of kids in a ring and it's violence. You know? Right, right, right. Uh, until they saw how disciplined and structured that it was. Mm -hmm. They saw that we were foundating these kids and actually teaching them the proper way to do the craft. Yeah. Then we started getting more support mm -hmm. you know, from the neighborhood. You know, And uh, with God's grace, I was able to get a small building that was just probably big enough for the ring mm -hmm. and enough space to squeeze by to use the restroom. You yeah. know? So, uh, we ran out of there for a while, couldn't run any shows. It was a very low ceiling, mm -hmm. but that took away the high stunts, but it taught us how to wrestle. Gotcha. You know, and I was able to bring in local people from the community, local wrestling coaches and stuff to come mm -hmm. in and show the guys how to grapple on the mat. Mm -hmm. And uh, it started to grow, you know. Uh, parents started feeling more comfortable with it because it was inside a facility and not just yeah, in the backyard. Yeah, you're right. You know, mm -hmm. so we started bringing more and more kids in, and once again, God stepped in as he always does and blessed us again to mm -hmm. get a bigger facility, mm -hmm. you know. At this facility, we had a high ceiling. We were actually able to run shows. You mm -hmm. know? So we started building a fan base and building a crowd where these people would come out twice a month to see these shows. And it's packed in here. Yeah, every yeah, time. yeah. It gets pretty packed. The last building we were at, they only held about 60 people. Mm -hmm. But it was 60 packed wall to wall. Mm -hmm. So 60 wall to wall, ceiling to floor is like 600. Mm -hmm. You know, the noise was crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started getting people to walk by to notice the ring. Mm -hmm. And everybody wanted to know about boxing. Then we trained for boxing. Mm -hmm. we trained. And at the time, we didn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ran into Pete Joyner, mm -hmm. and, uh, which again, he runs 12 round boxing here out of the gym. Awesome, man. We got to speak to him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he, he told me that he was looking for a place to go mm -hmm. you know, to train his guys. But mm -hmm. when he said guys, I heard him, but I didn't hear him. Mm -hmm. You know, and then he said, you know, but uh, my kids is where it's at. Mm -hmm. That stole my heart. Right. Because that's my mission, mm -hmm. the kids. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't promise anything at the time because mm -hmm. it was 60 Location. people wall to wall. Mm -hmm. You know, it was jam packed. Mm -hmm. But I did assure him that if I ever got somewhere that was more spacious, mm -hmm. he would be the first one that I would contact. Mm -hmm. And right now, today, we're here together. Awesome. We're doing it. Awesome. Well, I, and you mentioned something earlier, you know, the, the parents, when they first saw it, they thought about the violence and, you know, they didn't think about the structure in it. Explain a little bit to me, because I understand, because I used to, you know, go through a um, organization like that. Yes. And it brings a lot of structure. Instead of having your kids out there uh, into nonsense in the streets and getting into trouble, 
they have a structure, they learn time, they, tell, they learn, you know, uh, sticking to something, they learn how to be disciplined and teamwork and things like that. Explain a little bit of why it's important. Um, the life lessons y'all teach here, yes. it's not just jumping around wrestling and boxing, yes. you just seeing the surface. Explain the life lessons. Well, like you said, uh, you, you pretty much touched home mm -hmm. on, on the main focus and it's, it's the discipline behind mm -hmm. it, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, to show up to work, you have to you have to come on time if you want to keep your job. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to prepare yourself for your craft. You know, if, if 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 you're a chef, you can't come to work without your utensils. Right. You know, same thing with wrestling. We want these kids to come in here, you know, with the knee pads, with the elbow pads, anything that it takes to keep them safe. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's teaching structure mm -hmm. and discipline. Let alone wrestling is not a common sport. Right. You know, professional wrestling anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get basketball, football, track. You can get that pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, professional wrestling is different. Mm -hmm. You have to be dedicated, and this has to be something that you want to do. Right. You know, we have to tell a story that I'm beating you down without beating you down. Mm -hmm. I have to make everybody believe mm -hmm. that I'm a killer mm -hmm. without being a killer. Mm -hmm. You know, see out there in the streets, you go out there and you fight, you punch somebody in the face, you knock them out, you're mm -hmm. probably going to end up in jail. Yeah. And here, you punch somebody in the face the right way, you knock them out, you're the hero, but mm -hmm. you're going to get a check and you're going to walk away from it. Right. You know? So it's, it's really teaching a whole different type of discipline. Mm -hmm. you know? And not, not everybody can do it. You know, a, lot, a lot of people come about, but only a few excel in this yeah. sport because it has to be something that you want to do. It's also fun to watch, Yeah, man. it's very fun. It's very fun. Once you learn the craft, it's, it's like clockwork. It's like learning anything else. You, you know? guys, I, I've seen some clips, man. Y'all take me back to like the 80s <laughs> or like that that retro. I mean, it, you're good at what you do. You have great entertainers. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm mad that I didn't know about it earlier because right. this is a new hub and um, I'm gonna look at the camera on this one. We have to come and support this because it's all about the kids, it's all about the community and it's done in a nice structural way and it's very entertaining. Right, right. Very right. entertaining. Right, well I, like, I grew up in that 80 era was watching mm -hmm. the Dusty Rose yes, and the Ric Flair uh -huh. and uh, the more I got into this and the deeper I got into the business, I started wondering why can't we have more of the kids in our community involved in this? Mm -hmm. Uh, I know coming up as a young male, you probably saw several occasions where mm -hmm. people were fighting and mm -hmm. in your face and you in my face and mm -hmm. what you going to do? What, mm -hmm. what you going to do? Yep. That's a basic wrestling match. All we're mm -hmm. waiting for now is the crowd just waiting for somebody to throw a punch. Mm -hmm. But once you throw a punch, the bell rings and we're wrestling. Mm -hmm. So technically where I'm going at with this is this is not a craft that our kids have to learn. Mm -hmm. It's natural. Gotcha. We just got to get them to the facility mm -hmm. so they can study the craft. Mm -hmm. brush up on it and mm -hmm. learn to do it the right way. Right, right, and, right. And I, I see a future for a lot of the kids in our community in this sport here, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of them knowing about it and us putting it out there. Awesome. And I mean, you, you're channeling the aggression that a lot of ki our kids have in the right way. Right. Now, the next thing is, because we're all about progress. Progress, the process is our slogan, if you will. Um, what is the next step? Because you have to stay in this building. Yes. This situation needs to continue for our communities to have a place to go. Yes. Because, you know, like you said, on Brampton, the, the center is closed. Right. So more things are closing. Boys and the girls clubs are, are closing. Places are closing where our kids have to go. So now they're just in the street. Right. This gives a place for them to come and do something of substance. Yes. So what what do, what do we have to do now to keep this place running? Well, I mean, it, it, it's pretty simple. You know, with, with everything in life mm -hmm. comes funding. Mm -hmm. you know, nothing is free. I mm -hmm. wish it was. Mm -hmm. You know, we could run this forever and not charge anything. Right. You know, we have we have a few adult members who mm -hmm. partake in membership here, mm -hmm. you know, that, that contribute and help keeping the doors open. Mm -hmm. But for the most, um, you know, a lot of the expenses are out of pocket for myself. Right. For Mr. Jonah, you know, we're just trying to keep, you know, the doors open. Mm -hmm. So uh, we even have it to a point now where we're running twice a month here, mm -hmm. where we're running live shows. Okay. To not only entertain the community, mm -hmm. but to allow them to see what we're doing, as well as raise the funds to keep the building open. Okay, you know, awesome. We have a show coming up here on January 30th. Okay. Right here at the bell time at 7.15. It'll be a great show. Uh, we're looking to get some people out. Mm -hmm. Probably a little more than normal. Mm -hmm. you know, hopefully this will help, being that you know you and your oh, profession yeah. being the man out Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. We may have some, you know? some surprises for people that watch, too. Uh, and, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. If we can just get people to... To come, I guarantee they'll continue to come back mm -hmm. because it's a great event for all people. You yeah, know, something here that everybody likes. You know? January 30th. January 30th. And the time right again? The bell time is 7:15, right here at the Iron Throne. Awesome. And there's one other thing because again, I we believe at the radio show in this movement so much. Um, we're about to start a campaign 
called the uh, Championship Project or the Champion Project, the fight for our community. So we're going to have a GoFundMe and you'll be able to find the information. I'm sure we're going to put it on the bottom of the screen right about now. Go there. Give some funds. Support. If you hate to see on the news a young man getting shot or um, kids getting into fights and tearing up the mall or whatever, let's get another place for them to go and this is it. So we want to keep this place open and we want to keep these uh, situations going on that are better for our community and this is it. This is a fight for our community and this is the Champion Project. Please go to GoFundMe or what's y'all Facebook page to support us? You can follow us at Hampton Rose Championship Wrestling on Facebook. Again, that's Hampton Rose Championship Wrestling mm -hmm. on Facebook. Uh, you also can visit our website at acwprowrestling.com. Uh, you can follow the characters. You can learn the storyline. That way, when you come here to uh, see what's going on, mm -hmm. you kind of have an idea of how we do things, right? You won't be the stranger in the building. Right. Catch up. Go, go, go backtrack and see the other shows early on, all right? But definitely support. And uh, you're going to see more of this guy. This thing is going to be huge, but it's up to us supporting to make that happen. So we can do that. We have WCW, WWF. Everybody watches that stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can have that right here. And we have it right here already. But we need you sitting in those seats, all right? So we're going to get to a little more information. I just want to let you know what's going on here. Support is the name of the game. And that's what we're about. This is the video show.